So here is the data for the beta monitoring uh, with just beta and gamma background, uh, 21 centimeters in front of the supernova reactor with plastic cover on. Uh, it saw uh, over a two hour period 10.29 per centimeter squared per minute uh, with a variation of plus or minus 3.7%. With the plastic cover taken off, looking for beta, uh, we saw 10.81 per centimeter squared per minute, uh, plus or minus 3.6 percent, and the background was the background that was recorded here. So then, then we looked at uh, 21 centimeters uh, in front of the supernova with plastic cover off, magnetron fan on. That's the cooling fan for the supernova, uh, in the same mode as before. And that was 10.7, so very close per centimetre squared per minute with a plus or minus 3.6% uh, with the same background. So all of those were uh, using the same background. Obviously, that is the background. And all of them were with a two-hour sample. Now, today I did a, a 21 centimetres in front of the supernova, but it was slightly off to the side because I was looking at the microwave uh, emissions. Uh, the magnetron fan was on, and it, it within a 19-minute uh, run, the microwave uh, in the magnetron in the supernova was run for 3 minutes and 30 seconds, and the uh, reaction vessel had an unstable plasma. It was pulsating. You can hear that on separate video. Uh, and it was graphite, which is what I call dead carbon. Um, and so this was producing uh, 10.85 over that 20-minute uh, period uh, uh, per centimeter squared per minute, uh, plus or minus 9%. And that's because it was only this 20-minute sample and not a 19-minute sample, in fact, uh, rather than a two-hour sample. But you can see that even then it's in line. Now, there is a slight change upwards, which you can see on the video uh, when... Uh, the magnetron is on, uh, maybe you can see that, uh, but it's not massively noticeable. Um, but anyway, that is the data, uh, uh, background, uh, the, uh, with the uh, plastic cover off, uh, with the magnetron fan on and with some uh, graphite in there with the magnetron on for a portion of a much shorter sampling period. So thank you very much for your time. If you have any other controls you think I should be doing, uh, please let me know and I will see you in the next video.